Hey there all QTubers, what I got here is what I'm calling the Auto Kamado Kettle. That's right, the Auto Kamado Kettle. It's going to be PID controlled. Set the PID, it's going to operate the fan in this pellet grill. Yep, that pellet grill. Let me take you inside. Some of you guys may have seen this before. That's a carbon skillet. Okay, I drilled holes all the way around and with that fan running, air is going to blow up through there. Alright, so this is going to be my ash catcher right there. Ash catcher. Alright, so what we got here stainless steel expanded metal. Stainless steel expanded metal right there. Then everybody knows The stainless steel vortex stainless steel vortex ring all right so we're gonna put lump charcoal the Humphreys lump charcoal put lump charcoal in there all right now we have stainless steel grate all right then we have indirect stainless steel indirect pan okay that's gonna be a, a indirect pan and also it's gonna be a grease catcher and I got two levels right here. Gonna be doing some chicken leg and thighs going up top. Alright, put that in there. Got the dome, the Weber dome. Get that started. Alright, and so let me just show you. I already have it set. Let me show you. 250. It's 90 degrees out here. How about that? It's kind of warm. Alright, so when I turn power on, alright. A PID controller it's going to regulate the temperature all right this PID controller works on everything you you could put a PID controller in a garbage can and it'll it'll hold steady temp that's right so all right here's my here's my sensor right there I always put the sensor up where the meat is all right some of these I've seen these new products they got their sensor it's like right here okay got your sensor here your meats up top it's up here you know it's it's all over the place and that sensors right there that's what's giving you your 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 reading well to me that's I don't know I don't like that so that's why I always put the sensor where the meat is because that's way you know exactly what the temperature is and that's what's uh, the PID is going to control so all right stainless stainless Stainless, 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 stainless. And Humphrey's Lump Charcoal. Got the torch to get it going. Alright, so I didn't want to ruin this Vortex. Actually, I think for this to work more efficiently, I should have some holes in here. But if you see down there, you'll look. There, there's going to be room for, for air to get to that charcoal. And I think it's going to work. If it doesn't work, you won't be seeing this video, but I do think it's going to work. Okay, we got our Humphreys lump charcoal in there. Let's get it started here. Using the torch, that's how I do it. And we're going to use the PID. Going to start it off, set it uh, 250. All right, so I got my lump charcoal started. And as you can see, with this drip pan, I could go indirect catch the drippings or I could turn it out of the way and get a little bit of direct or take it completely out for a serious direct all right so we're gonna we're gonna go just like this because we want to go indirect starting it out start those legs up on the top all right so hear that hear the fan fans blowing PID controller set at 250. All right, let's get it going. Put my sensor on there. Okay, let's put the dome on this Auto Komodo kettle. Just like that. Now, if this works, I might put a put a hinge on there. I have a hinge. I just open it like that. But hey, this is this is all good. 
Uh, this will work for me. All right, so let's see here. 136, 137, 138. Set temp 250. We're starting it out low. Probably take it up to 275. All right, let's see what our vent. Our vent's wide open right now. Heavy metal style, auto Kamado kettle. All right, so while this is coming up the temp, 169 here. It's uh, slowly coming up using that lump charcoal. So what I'm doing is I'm utilizing the fan in this pellet grill. I'm pretty much done using pellets. It's just a personal thing, but I got a fan in there, so why not utilize it? You know, hook the PID up. You know, this is uh, Auto Kamado Kettle, heavy metal style. And uh, why not, right? I can't afford to go out and buy all these new fancy uh, grills and smokers, but I can make my own. Yep, heavy metal, cheap imitation version. All right, so after about 10 minutes here, coming up the temp nice and slow, 217. We're gonna get these legs and thighs on. It's getting there. It's getting there, as you can see. Oh yeah, see that? See that down at the bottom? Can you see that? Oh yeah, it's 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 lighting. All right, so just some legs and thighs. No seasoning in particular. Put whatever you want on there. No big deal. It ain't about the chicken. It ain't about the chicken. It's about my auto Kamado. Auto Kamado kettle. Me playing around on YouTube. YouTubers. Alright, PID controlled. Oh yeah, look at that. You see that glowing down there? Oh yeah, that fan's working. I ain't using the pellet grill, but I am using the fan. All right, so see that? We hit our set temp, 250, and the fan cut off. That's right, PID control. There you go, John. All right, so we've come up to 250 I know that this is this is working now I have no doubt so let's just let it run for 250 for a while you know get those uh, chicken going and we'll see this thing uh, kick on and off all right so here we go I'm impatient let's go and let's take the set temp let's go up to 275 and you'll hear that fan start kicking on. See? Like the fan will kick on, you'll see. It'll kick on. Hear it? Yep, just like that. It'll come up to that set temp of 275. Alright, so here we are. 274, 275, the fan cuts on, cuts off, cuts on, cuts off. You've seen it a million times before from me. But there you go. I think 275 is a good temp for some legs and thighs. Just going to leave it at that. All right, let it go. All right, the HMB style auto Kamado kettle. Fan's been kicking on and off. We're at 272. Fan on and off, on and off. About 45 minutes. Now let's go ahead and take a look at these. See what's going on. 69. 
175, 176. Get some sauce on there. What the heck happened here? I'm beating on it. Let's see here. There it is. That yeah, fixed it. No problem. Alright, so that's what we're looking like. This one here. Turn them over. Just about done. We're going to get a little bit of sauce on there. Alright, can you see what's going on with the lump charcoal down there? All right, we're going with the open pit original. I mean, uh, you can't go wrong with the, uh, the the original for this kind of for this kind of barbecue. It's a little bit on there. It's not about the chicken. It's about me entertaining myself with this uh, auto kamado idea I don't do this for the subs or the money just amusing myself and some of you guys out there I do it for you guys just having fun alright folks time to wrap this up Time to wrap this cook up. Look at those, they look fantastic. Got a little bit of corn. Alright, we're gonna give it a little bit of direct for that true backyard barbecue flavor. Just like that. Driving the neighbors crazy. How you do it. It's like that. So yeah, I just took that uh, deflector plate, that drip pan, my indirect deflector plate, take that off, roll this corn around a little bit. You know, it's all good. That's how you do it. Burn it up just a little bit. See that? Just a little bit. Just to give it that flavor. Look at that. See? Just a little bit. Just give it a little bit of that flavor. Let that go for another minute. Alright folks, thanks for watching. Heavy metal style auto Kamado Auto Kamado kettle. Does it work? Yes it does. Utilizing the fan and the uh, and the pellet grill. So I want to thank you all for watching. Heavy metal barbecue. Metal on, people. Thanks for watching.